Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Vyond. And this, of course, has got to do with India's historic moon mission, Chandrayaan-3. Lifted off successfully from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota a few hours back. The launch was successful as the spacecraft entered into space after completing eight separate stages. Soon after the liftoff, the propulsion module successfully separated from the rocket. And then the rocket will go on orbiting the Earth for at least about five to six times in ever larger elliptical cycles. And then it would gradually start moving towards the lunar orbit. Congratulations, India. Chandrayaan 3 has started its journey towards moon. Our dear LVM 3 has already put Chandrayaan 3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth. Now, Chandrayaan 3 is a follow up to Chandrayaan 2, will attempt a soft landing of the lunar surface. In addition, it will also aim to reach the orbit of the moon and will study the surface of the moon. The spacecraft will take over a month to reach the moon's southern pole, where it will attempt a soft landing. The European Space Agency is also providing support to India's Chandrayaan 3. The ESA has said that they will track the Indian spacecraft from its various centers and will share the data with their Indian counterparts. चंद्रमा की सतह पर अपना छाप छोड़ने के लिए चंद्रयान थ्री अपने मिशन को पूरा करने निकल चुका है यू वुड रिकॉल ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैड वेरी रिसेंटली सेड स्काई इज नॉट द लिमिट लिविंग बाय हिज वर्ड्स आई थिंक द चंद्रयान टुडे हैज गॉन बियॉन्ड द लिमिट्स ऑफ स्काई टू डिस्कवर द अनएक्सप्लोर्ड हॉराइजन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स बियॉन्ड And India's Chandrayaan-3 is going to herald the country's quantum leap in the global space arena. This, remember, is India's second attempt at a soft landing on the lunar su surface. And if this mission succeeds, then India will enter into a super elite category of nations. Where India has been working on the space mission programs for the last 70 plus years. And various Indian scientists have contributed for India's space mission program and only the United States, Russia and China have achieved a soft landing on the surface of the moon. And also our senior correspondent Siddharth MP has been tracking this story very closely for us from Sri Harikota, listening to what he's got to say. We're coming to you at a historic moment. A journey, a historic journey by an Indian spacecraft is just about to begin. The countdown is now ending. And here you can see behind us the liftoff of India's largest and heaviest rocket, the LVM-3 vehicle. This is a 642-ton rocket that's lifting off. LVM-3 uh, is a rocket that is powered by three types of fuel, solid, liquid, and cryogenic fuel. You can see that the LVM-3 rocket is lifting off now. So as we speak, there's 400 tons of solid fuel that is burning. This is hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene, ammonium perchlorate that's burning. Nearly through two-thirds of the rocket rocket's fuel is burning as we speak to get the rocket off the ground. Let's remember that this is a mission that will last about 16 and a half minutes. The rocket is now giving away its characteristic engine roar for almost an 8 kilometer radius around Satish Dhawan Space Center. You can hear this engine roar of the solid motors and the solid motors are meant to get the rocket you know off the ground and uh, you know away from the denser layers of the earth's atmosphere and thereafter it uh, you know goes on to the next stage and the second stage engines light up which are liquid engines they have about 110 tons of fuel in them and after that it will finally be 25 tons liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen that will light up 
So during this launch itself, real time there are several stations that are tracking this launch. Stations in Port Blair are tracking this launch. Stations uh, in Brunei are tracking this launch. All of these stations are towards the east of India. So as this rocket flies eastwards, um, you know this vehicle is being tracked real time by multiple stations. And in the later phase of this uh, mission, once the spacecraft is placed around Earth orbit, there will be so many other Earth stations of NASA, the European Space Station, all of them, and even ISRO will be tracking the spacecraft as it circles the Earth at very high speeds of close to 28,000 kilometers per hour. Let's also remember the fact that, uh, you know, this mission will take, um, a landing, lunar landing mission will take as much as six weeks to complete. And throughout this journey, the spacecraft will be tracked by India, by the European Space Station and also by NASA stations at various parts of the world. With video journalist Chandra Shekhar from Sriharikota, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One. All right, so that was my colleague Siddharth MP there at the moment when the rocket lifted off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota and he's now joining us live on this broadcast. Siddharth, we just saw the report that you'd filed a little while back where the rocket Chandrayaan-3 just lifted off. It was a successful clean liftoff. But now begins the important and crucial journey. India is attempting a soft landing for a second time on the surface of the moon. Tell us how complex a mission this is going to be. Thank you, Saleh. Uh, let me start by telling you that uh, this is a complex mission, but ISRO has almost completed 90% uh, of this mission in its previous two attempts. Let's bring into perspective Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. In its maiden attempt in 2008-2009, ISRO ensured that its small spacecraft weighing just about 1,300 kilos could successfully enter lunar orbit in its maiden attempt. This was uh, quite a very rare feat and a great scientific achievement. This is 2008 we are talking about, almost 15 years ago. Cut to 2019, four years ago, you again did the same thing with a heavier spacecraft which weighed almost two and a half times as much as Chandrayaan-1. That was about 3.67 tons that Chandrayaan-2 weighed. That all, all also got uh, injected into lunar orbit. And it was only just two kilometers short of lunar landing. So that's where this mission actually ended and that's where the lunar landing phase got terminated because of a failure. But let's keep in mind this mm -hmm. mission is complex on various fronts. One, uh, we weigh, uh, you know, uh, our original weight on Earth. So we have gravity, right. uh, the gravitational force that keeps us weighing what we weigh. But on Moon, there is only one-sixth the gravity of Earth. So this makes landing operations quite complex for spacecraft. Second thing that makes landing complex is that the spacecraft needs to have enough algorithms and artificial intelligence right. programmed into it to be able to judge the correct landing site and land autonomously without guidance because it takes a couple of minutes for signals to go from Earth and by then it's too late. So the spacecraft has to do the landing autonomously by choosing an app site. Another challenge is lunar dust. When you land, your lunar dust should not cover your solar panels because solar panels are crucial to generate electricity for your operations on the moon. Several complexities exist, but ISRO is prepared for all of this. All right. They have done at least hundreds of tests over a two-year period on this lunar spacecraft. Absolutely, indeed. Thank you very much, indeed, Siddharth MP, for joining us and getting us all those details there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.